Bethesda's single-player games are known for prioritizing player freedom, especially in allowing players to engage in criminal activities. In the upcoming game Starfield, this emphasis on player freedom extends to crime systems, with significant improvements to pickpocketing and lockpicking mechanics. These enhancements represent a continuation of Bethesda's commitment to enhancing the player's ability to engage in diverse in-game experiences. Pickpocketing in Starfield represents a significant departure from previous Bethesda games. Unlike past titles where pickpocketing would pause the game and display an item menu, Starfield's pickpocketing occurs in real time. This means that if a player is sneaking up on someone and within range to pickpocket, an item menu will appear without interrupting the game. Additionally, when tailing a moving target, the player must stay within range to continue the pickpocketing process, as there is no pause in the gameplay. The real-time pickpocketing system in Starfield adds intensity and depth to the mechanic. Players must maintain stealth while taking items from targets and avoid being detected by others nearby, as being spotted can alert the person being stolen from. This change enhances the stealthy gameplay, introducing a unique element that requires players to balance staying hidden, taking items, and avoiding detection, leading to a more immersive and challenging experience. Pickpocketing will interact with skills such as stealth and possibly concealment. The stealth skill's potential effects include increased sneak attack damage and accuracy. The initial objective involves performing 10 sneak attacks, although it could also influence pickpocketing and overall stealth mechanics. Another skill, concealment, is anticipated to make it harder for enemies to detect the player while in stealth mode, which would significantly impact successful pickpocketing. Given the real-time nature of pickpocketing, maintaining a high level of stealth is crucial, making these skills potentially important for a successful thieving experience. For players who enjoy thieving and pickpocketing gameplay, Starfield seems to offer an improved experience. The pickpocketing system in the game is expected to be the best version yet, with real-time mechanics requiring players to maintain stealth while stealing. Additionally, Starfield features a lock-picking system known as DG Picking. Unlike the real-time pickpocketing, DG Picking doesn't operate in real-time, likely because it involves looting from containers rather than interacting with characters. This approach appears more fitting for its context, as real-time mechanics wouldn't have the same impact as they do in the pickpocketing system. DG Picking brings an intriguing twist to lockpicking, setting it apart from previous Bethesda games like Fallout and Elder Scrolls. This unique minigame is detailed through the security skills ranks. Rank 1 lets players try advanced locks, storing two auto-attempts after picking five locks. In Rank 2, three auto-attempts are storable when attempting expert locks, with pickable rings turning blue after 15 locks. Rank 3 offers master-level locks with four bankable auto-attempts. In Rank 4, a DG pick can be used to eliminate unnecessary keys, storing up to five auto-attempts. The security skill in Starfield unlocks higher-level DG picks and introduces new mechanics to the system. While the skill adds complexity, DG picking remains similar to lockpicking in Fallout and Elder Scrolls, albeit tailored for Starfield's context. While exact details are lacking, given the Bethesda nature, it's highly likely that in Starfield, players can pilfer items from homes, shops, and various locations. Like other Bethesda games, a plethora of items will likely be scattered around, facilitating the opportunity to nab belongings owned by others. This common feature of Bethesda's single-player games is expected to carry over to Starfield, serving as a fundamental method for engaging in criminal activities. While not confirmed, there appears to be a jail system in Starfield, akin to the one seen in previous Elder Scrolls games. Similar to Elder Scrolls, players might face imprisonment for their crimes. In previous titles, the option to serve time or attempt an escape was available. A glimpse of a character in a jail cell during showcases has sparked speculation about a jail system in Starfield. There could be two aspects to this jail system. First, for players, getting caught might lead to jail, where they can sleep through their sentence or attempt an escape. Additionally, players might have the ability to bring individuals they were pursuing to prison. However, this second part will be discussed later in the video. Another confirmed feature in Starfield involves stealing entire ships. When engaging in battles with other ships or attempting to commandeer one, players will need to board the target vessel, 
eliminate or capture its crew, and then take control. The captured ship becomes part of the player's collection. However, additional steps come into play when stealing ships. Registering the ship is crucial for customization. After stealing a ship, a substantial fee is required to register it with various factions. This registration enables the ship to be landed at specific cities or spaceports and fully customized. This process is noted to be quite expensive, likely making it a late-game endeavor where amassing and customizing multiple stolen ships becomes a viable option. Beyond ship theft, smuggling is poised to play a significant role in Starfield. Certain sectors and planets will subject your ship to contraband scans upon entry. Much gameplay is centered around smuggling illicit items across various planets and space locations. When attempting to land on specific planets, your ship will undergo scanning for contraband. Additionally, there appears to be a mechanic enabling players to shield contraband on their ship, allowing them to evade scanners and clandestinely transport goods to different destinations. Players can tailor their ships for more effective smuggling in Starfield. Illegal drug smuggling is also a part of the game, with Neon being a prominent hub for this activity due to its lawless nature. Aurora, a popular drug, is legal there. Neon's lax regulations likely apply to other drugs, making it a prime source for illicit items to smuggle. Smuggling's depth spans resource acquisition for ship customization, skill development, and questline progression for more content. The contraband smuggling aspect offers significant content progression possibilities in Starfield. The final segment covers combat-focused crimes in Starfield, including assassinations, bounties, and bounty hunting. While details are limited, these activities are expected in the game. Drawing a parallel to Elder Scrolls Oblivion's Dark Brotherhood, Bethesda excels at creating compelling storylines around such concepts. Thus, assassination and related mechanics are likely to be present, offering engaging gameplay in Starfield. Murder for Hire seems fitting for Neon, where lawlessness thrives, and it could tie into missions from the Ryujin and Xenofresh corporations, both based in Neon. With the city's chaotic nature, these corporations might enlist players to carry out assassinations across the galaxy, possibly aimed at eliminating competition. This context aligns well with the corporation's objectives and the atmosphere of Neon. Bounty hunting is a confirmed feature in Starfield, with developers discussing ship customization for the purpose. The gameplay will not only involve being hunted but also engaging in bounty hunting. The mechanics hopefully extend beyond simple tasks of killing a target, ideally, players can capture bounties alive or dead, and even deliver them to designated locations to be incarcerated adding depth to the experience beyond just kill and collect. Bounty hunting is anticipated to offer a multifaceted and engaging system in Starfield. In a more intricate bounty hunting system, varied options could resemble the early seasons of The Mandalorian. This might involve capturing targets alive or deceased, offering rich gameplay possibilities. Additionally, there's a wanted trait in character selection, providing a damage boost when injured, but also attracting random bounty hunters attempting to capture or eliminate you. This duality of being both a hunter and the hunted introduces engaging dynamics within the game's bounty system. Expanding further, the ecliptic mercenaries, skilled and possibly acting as bounty hunters, could relate to the wanted system in Starfield. This system appears tied to specific factions, exemplified by a showcase character's faction-specific wanted status. If you're wanted within a faction's controlled space, you might encounter authorities or bounty hunters seeking to collect the bounty on you. This mechanic could vary in different factions' territories, possibly making it challenging for bounty hunters to pursue you in regions controlled by rival factions. This nuanced interaction adds depth to the gameplay surrounding bounties and pursuit. The effectiveness of this mechanic might be influenced by your reputation with various factions. If you hold a positive standing with one faction and you're in their territory, bounty hunters might struggle to reach you due to your favorable relationship with that faction's authorities. And that's the extent of the available details I could gather regarding the diverse crime systems featured in Starfield. Whether you aspire to be a renegade, a skilled bounty hunter, or a top-notch thief in the star system, Starfield likely offers those opportunities. Don't forget to hold on to any buckets you come across they tend to be useful in Bethesda games. That concludes the topics I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching.